Hey make sure diary are nicely set up here in the, the overflow bit of the campsite at Lid. Uh, just done first practice session. So in the first practice session, um, first time I've ridden this bike in stock with a stock engine in for a long long time. Um, my lap timer says I managed to get a 50 dead. Can't remember what my best is, so I'll have a look on it in my history, but should be on the 50. Okay, I'll just show you the setup I've got here. Very friendly motor team. The tools and the bike, everything there, and then the race van. Yeah, I do have a caravan, but um, I'm on my own this weekend, so it wasn't worth bringing it. So, I'll show you the bed for the night. I've got an electric hook up with the campsite and put the bike in here and then I've got three boards here that lay across to make a bed, air mattress, happy days. I've got a fridge there and a kettle all set up. Good morning, uh, Saturday morning, I've just done a qualifying one. It's beautiful here, much better weather than I expected. Uh, he's motor team headquarters. And there's uh, the Dungeness Point power station. Uh, so I've done Q1 and uh, I tinkered with me, uh, after swapping the engine to the stock engine, I tinkered with the jet in on the carburetor and uh, made it put a smaller jet on anyway. Wasn't really good, uh, put it back to where it was, everything as, as it was. Uh, hopefully, Q2 got a little bit better. Not sure exactly where I was, but I was just behind the O'Keefe's. Out. Qualifying two went a little better. Um, I think I've managed to get uh, equal my personal best with the stock engine 49.4. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough to catch the two O'Keefe brothers, so I'm, I'm going to be starting just behind them in sixth place. Uh, nearly everyone's on stock bikes this year, and there's oh, reduced numbers, only about eight on the grid. So I'm hoping to pr promote more the team, and if anybody's watching, try and get them to come along. Uh, so we'll do a, a a video of the race next. So there's a bit of carnage at the start of this. You'll see the person, person in P1 has a bit of a problem off the line, and then um, let's see. So holds everyone up behind him, and Harrison O'Keefe on the orange bike managed to go from. Fifth place to third place, and second even. Uh, and I just sit in behind as long as I can. Um, this race wasn't as not exciting to watch, so I'll probably skip most of it. Uh, so I end up on my own, uh, just trying to fend off Ben O'Keefe, who's behind me. And that's him coming past there. And that was on lap nine. Just trying to stay with him. And that leaves me with a P6 finish. So apologies that the camera is pointing towards the ground because the way I put it on 
when I braked that it pushed the camera downwards, so I might have to fix that for the next race. And there's the results. P4. P2 of round one lid fab racing. Uh, just been out for morning practice. Uh, couldn't get under 50 seconds. I was nowhere near as good as I was in the race yesterday. Uh, but hopefully, if the track warms up, that might be a bit easier. Uh, I didn't record anything, but I'll stick the camera on for the next race. That'll be race two of three. Make it out. Well, I've just come back from race two. Fairly pleased with myself. Um, I'll let you see the footage on it, but I'm pleased to see that I've got a personal record on my laps, 48.57 according to my lap timer and I managed to hang on to Harrison O'Keefe, the faster of the brothers and uh, managed to get past him, more due to luck than design but I'll let you watch the footage. Here we go race two, watching for the red flag, red light go out and away, I've got a fairly good start and tucked in behind Harrison O'Keefe here. I messed up the first couple of corners, I've got some making up to do. <clears throat> and then we'll see what happens next. Whoa, a bit of a wobble. I chatted with them later and uh, apparently because they decided to put the um, race before lunch and not after lunch. He went out with cold tyres, so he had a bit of a rear end slide. Just managed to save it. <clears throat> Ideally I would have been able to get past him there, but I didn't know which way to go left or right, so I braked and didn't get past him. So I spent quite a lot of the race following him. Um, I will not show you all of it, I'll just let you watch a couple of laps and then I'll skip to it later on. I'll roll on to lap six. I'm still on the tail of Harrison O'Keefe. Actually, in P4, wrong, because someone has fallen off in front of us. And we just catch up with this back marker. I'm going into the final corner. He ends up stuck behind him, and I slip up the inside. So, more by luck than design, I managed to take the position. Right on my tail for the next two or three laps.
So on to the final lap, you see the last lap flag there. Uh, this actually turns out to be my fastest, do my fastest lap. Shown on the lap count is lap nine, it's actually lap 10 because I've balls up the settings and race render. Results there. Actually in class, third in class, so first podium this year. So I'm driving myself back home from Lid. I'm on the M11 heading north into the sunset. Ooh, north into the sunset? Mm, well, that's what I can see anyway. So race three didn't happen. What happens, the track got covered in oil by one of the sidecars had a problem, put the cement dust on the track and scrubbed it and then uh, the, the organisers decided that they, would, they didn't have sufficient time left to run the rest of the meeting so uh, they uh, halted. But uh, still good weekend, um, I got personal best uh, lap time, um, I managed to get a, a third, I got a podium in race two. Until next time, make a shout out.